The PlayStation 4 had an excellent year with some great exclusives that define the console's library. In this video, we'll be going over the top 10 best PS4 exclusives of 2016. Let's get right into this. Number 10, Bound. Bound is a platformer focused on its gorgeous art direction. You play as a ballet dancer as you make your way through dreamlike environments. The gameplay is your fairly generic platforming fare, however, the style and originality of the game is commendable. It was one of the underrated downloadable games of the year, so check it out if you haven't. Number 9, The Last Guardian. After the long wait, Last Guardian finally released this year. Did it live up to the hype? Considering expectations, probably not, but it's still a very good game. The level design was great and the story was very engaging with the dynamic between the boy and Trico being the main element. However, some of the gameplay was a bit inconsistent, controlling Trico paired with the poor camera made some of the sections a chore. Still, the overall quality of the game was high and it's worth playing for those that were a fan of Team Eco's previous titles. Number 8, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. Digimon finally made its return to the video game scene stateside with Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. While the game doesn't have the marquee appeal of Pokemon, it's still a very competent monster collection Japanese RPG. The story is also relatively good, and while the core gameplay is rudimentary, it's still well designed. For fans of the franchise or fans of JRPGs, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth is a solid game. Number 7, The King of Fighters 14. The King of Fighters made its return this year with The King of Fighters 14 and refined the gameplay to be arguably the best in the series. Visually, the game looked good and it was accessible for newcomers while still having depth for series veterans. Considering the colossal disappointment that was Street Fighter V, The King of Fighters 14 stands out as a quality fighting game experience. <laughs>
Number 6, Dragon Quest Builders. Dragon Quest Builders is one of the more unlikely great games of the year. A Minecraft voxel style game in the Dragon Quest universe, who thought that would be a good game? Lo and behold, it was pretty good. The game retains traditional RPG elements while blending them with Minecraft style gameplay very seamlessly. There's even a pretty decent story in there. It appeals to multiple fan bases, whether you're a fan of the style of game or you're a Dragon Quest fan, it's an interesting game you should check out. Survival. As you progress, you will be able to craft more powerful tools such as hammers and axes to gather even stronger materials. Better tools, better materials, better buildings. Once you have the essentials mastered, you can start finding ways to gather more efficiently. Or why not venture forth to the uncharted lands to find rare materials? Of course, it's not just about collecting. Many rewards are won through completing quests for people in need, discovering hidden treasure, and hunting fearsome monsters. To improve every aspect of your town and enable you to traverse the realm with... Number 5, Res Infinite. Res is one of the forgotten gems from the PS2 era, and it was brought back to the PlayStation 4 with Res Infinite, a game that was designed for virtual reality but can also be played with traditional controls. Infinite brings with it a high level of immersion, visuals that still hold up 15 years later, and amazing sound design. VR definitely adds to the immersion, so if you have it, it'll be even better, but even without, I would classify Res as a must-play game. Number 4, Gravity Rush Remastered. Gravity Rush was one of the great games on the PlayStation Vita. Being on the Vita, however, greatly hindered its potential audience. Earlier this year, the game was ported to the PlayStation 4 in the form of Gravity Rush Remastered. All of your typical remastering fare is in there, better visuals, a higher frame rate, all of the DLC content, as well as a great art gallery. And that's a very nice addition considering how nice of a game Gravity Rush is artistically. The gameplay also translates very well onto the DualShock 4. If you've never played Gravity Rush, definitely give this a chance, especially considering it released at a budget price and with Gravity Rush 2 around the corner, now is a great time to play the first. Number 3, Alien Nation. Housemark has become one of the great hidden game developers of the industry. They are responsible for some of the best PlayStation downloadable titles, Resogun, Dead Nation, Super Stardust, and this year they released their latest game, Alien Nation, a cooperative twin-stick shooter. You fight off aliens that are invading Earth, it gets progressively harder, and you get progressively more powerful. It's a simple formula, but it works and creates some excellent gameplay, especially if you're playing with friends. Solo, it's still a solid experience, but the real joy comes out when you're playing with a group of friends.
Number 2, Ratchet & Clank. Ratchet & Clank is one of the most iconic franchises in PlayStation history, but for a while we hadn't seen a traditional game. This year, we didn't see a completely brand new entry, rather Ratchet & Clank was a remake of the very first game in the series. Now, this wasn't just a typical remastering, the game was built ground up for the PlayStation 4, and you can immediately tell that considering how technically impressive the game is. From a gameplay perspective, it's as great as Ratchet has ever been, the fantastic platforming, zany weapons, it's all here. Whether you've been a fan of the series since its debut, or you're new to it, Ratchet & Clank is a must-play platformer. Why do you hide, stinky aliens? Mr. Zircon only wishes for to kill you. Finally, number one, Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. While Ratchet & Clank is a very iconic franchise, none is more iconic to PlayStation than Uncharted, and this year, Naughty Dog closed the book on the story of Nathan Drake with Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. And what a way to go out. Uncharted 4 is the pinnacle of the franchise, from its technical brilliance, the outstanding pacing, the gripping story, refined gameplay, it's excellent in nearly every area. And an area that many series have problems with is closing out in a satisfying way, and that was not a problem at all for Uncharted 4. The ending was great and closed out Nathan Drake's story in a satisfying way. The single player is well worth the cost of admission alone, but then you have a quality multiplayer mode as well. If you have a PS4 and you don't have Uncharted 4, you're doing yourself and the console a disservice. Pick it up ASAP if you haven't. So that wraps up our countdown of the top 10 best PlayStation 4 exclusives of 2016. What do you think? What were your favorite PS4 exclusives of 2016? Comment your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.